Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a bit more simple than usual. Some time ago Kana asked me if I could sketch for her a shop that she would later use as a setting for her comic. This is a thing that she does every month right now in Japan. It's published in Japanese. It's a comic about a Japanese tanuki, so a Japanese raccoon, I think, called Ponko. And this tanuki called Ponko in each episode solves an everyday scientific mystery. And for an episode that explores the differences between different inks and pens, Kana needed an office supply store. And she sketched one in her storyboard, but she wanted me to sketch it better with more details and to try to get this rainy day, but still kind of sunny atmosphere to this scene. I was happy to help her. I know a lot about the Japanese stores because this is one of the things I really like about Japan. Cute retro stores are my thing. So almost without looking at any references, I am able to do this quite a detailed sketch. So I first talked to Kana about this shop. I took her storyboard as a base and started from there, just sketching freely in Procreate. This is not going to be used anywhere. So the perspective and so on does not have to be perfectly as Kana drew it in her storyboard. So I could just explore the surroundings and add details and add things that I liked to this scene which step by step developed into a whole street corner picture. This is an approach to drawing, uh, which I call starting from the door handle, which came from a story that the producer of Studio Ghibli, Mr. Suzuki, told us when we visited the studio. He told us that for most of his works, Hayao Miyazaki starts from just a small little detail that he finds kind of interesting and he builds the whole world and the whole a narration around this one element that he likes and wants to show. If you compare this to building a house, instead of starting with the whole design and plan and floor plan and so on, you just start with the door handle that you like. So instead of starting from the big picture and the big story and the big perspective and deciding the whole composition of a picture first, Sometimes it's nice to just start from a little detail that you like, like a door for a shop or a nice window or an interesting tree or something like that, and then build around it and make the whole scene work with this one element that you have first. So here I started from the entrance of the shop and then just went from there. I fixed some things on the way, I changed the size of some things and so on, but I tried not to be kind of overzealous and fix things and worry about things because this is just a random scene that um, its main purpose is to be kind of cute but believable. I find that working in this way can be sometimes a bit more relaxing, a bit more free, so you can do just random things almost and see what the scene becomes. You don't have to plan ahead and worry ahead so much. It's especially good for drawing digitally where you can fix stuff and erase stuff. And also works well with scenes that are kind of busy, like a city scene like this or a scene with a lot of trees and nature uh, when you can just conceal all the things that don't fit so well maybe because the picture is so busy that um, you kind of lose all these inconsistencies in really simple scenes where the perspective and the composition really really matters it's more difficult to pull it off so when i finished the line art it was enough for kana to start with her comic so she used it as the reference that it was meant to be uh, but I already had the line art and it was kind of okay. The lines were neat and uh, clean enough so I could use it actually for something. So I decided that I like it enough that I can just go ahead and color it also in Procreate. Keeping in mind that this is a kind of rainy but also sunny scene, I tried to keep the shadows to minimum. So I painted with a bit more softer shadows that I usually do because it's cloudy. But I also wanted to keep the colors vibrant and not so dull and gray. So I decided to put some really saturated details here and there. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the painting process.
Okay, the painting process is nearly complete. This piece is more rough and sketchy than the ones that I usually do, but I still like it. At the end, I tried to add some color correction, a bit of kind of fogginess and rain to finish the whole thing. This is how the picture ended up looking. And of course, Kana also did a panel in her comic based on this sketch. And this is how it looks like. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe. And you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support there that allows me to spend time making these videos. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.